Hello, 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 hello. I hope you're good because I'm feeling good today. Um, my name is Kara and I'm from Mastery Tutoring. As you can see on the board, that is the name of the company I'm coming from. Um, you know, before we start with this solving this question, uh, I wanted to ask you if you could click, you know, the red subscribe button um, just to make sure that, you know, whenever we upload videos similar to this one, you stay updated and then also just to help the channel grow. And what you can do to help the channel grow is to, you know, share this content with your friends, you know, the people you know and stuff like that, you know, help other students because we understand that many students are very stressed right now during the lockdown, you know, matriculants are not going to school. So we know that learners are struggling, you know. So this is something that might help someone else, you know, so save someone's life by sharing this information. Okay, without wasting any time, let's solve this question. Now, I have question one in front of me here, and then it reads as follows. In the, in the figure, AD and CF are medians of triangle ABC, and they cut one another at point S. The line segment FPQ, is it FPQ? Yes, the line segment FPQ um, <clears throat> is parallel to BS and cuts AS at P. And then it also cuts AC at Q. Now we are also informed that FQ is parallel to BS. Without wasting any time, let's put this information on the diagram. Okay, uh, I'm going to start with this one here. So F, FP is parallel to BS. So this is FP. Um, FP. So I'm just going to put these lines that shows that the line is parallel to BS. Now this is BS here. BS. Okay. And then now I want us to construct the line BS in such a way that it, it uh, intersects with AC. So this is me constructing the line. Now this is this is not poorly constructed. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I know I'm not using a ruler, but it shouldn't be that bad. Yeah, I think that's better. So, okay, now this point, I'm going to call it point E. Now, let's talk about uh, medians and stuff like that. If I give a triangle, let's see, this is my triangle. So let's take a, a break a bit from the question that we have here. And then let's look at this red triangle here. Now I'm going to call this X, Y, and Z. Now this triangle, right, I'm going to draw a line here, this line, that intersect X, Z. And then I'm, I'm going to call this point, let me call it, um, what can I call it? Let me call it A, for example. Now, and then I tell you that uh, Y, A, is a median what does this mean when i say something it's a median it means that it cuts the line x z at the midpoint at the middle of that line so now this means that this side is equal to that side now i draw another line now let me call this point b And then now, because, okay, now, B, Z, now I tell you again that is a median. It's a median. So because it's a median, and then we can safely say that this line is, these two lines, what's going on here? My PC is acting up, guys. So the two lines, the two lines are parallel. So this is parallel to, to that side. Okay, cool. So now because these two lines, sorry, the two lines are equal. Why am I saying they're parallel? So YB is equal to BX. It's supposed to be one line, this one. So now at the middle, at the point where they intersect, this is the median, this is the middle point of the triangle. Let me call it point C. This is the middle point of the triangle. So if you draw another line, let's say we draw another line 
that goes down like that. It is also let's call this one D. It is also it is also going to divide this line, these two lines. This line I mean to say Y Z in such a way that Y D is equal to D Z. So that is the you know the median in simple terms. So we going back to our diagram. We are told that uh, F C is a median. So it simply means that this line is equal to that line, and then also. We are told that AD is a median as well, so it's going to divide this line to be equal to that line. Now, <clears throat> I want you to remember something. Let's mark this one here because I mean there's too many letters here, so I can't show. But then because BS passes through the middle point here, which is S, it 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 also um, it, uh, what is it divides the line AC in such a way that EC is equal to AE. So if this one was X, for example, this is also going to be X. This is an example. Okay. So now that uh, we got everything out of the way, we can proceed and read the question that we need to answer. By the way, this is what I do normally. I, I just put down the information. Before I get confused by before I get confused by the question. You know, I put down all the information that is given to me and then I proceed to read the question. After understanding the diagram, it makes the whole thing much easier. Okay, now the diagram it says, I mean, sorry, the question it says, prove that AQ is equal to 1 over 4 AC. Now, this is easy peasy. Let's go ahead and prove it. Okay, cool. So, <clears throat> now I want us to look at triangle ABE. So, triangle ABE. From triangle ABE, I can, okay. Let me divide this so that this we know it was just an example. So remember, this is not part of the solution. It was just an I was explaining here. So if you come across something like this, don't start by doing the, what I did here. You know. Okay, cool. Now AQ over QE is equals to AF over FB. Now, obviously, we can't just write, you know, information out of nowhere. We need to give a reason as to why. And the reason has to be applicable and it needs to make sense. Now, here's my reason. I'm going to put it here. So, <clears throat> this is actually um, proportion theorem. If you don't know what proportion theorem is, you know, search on our videos. You're going to find a, a video that explains you what a proportion theorem is. Or just visit your notes, you know, it's much easier. Okay, proportion, but I'm not going to write proportion theorem. I'm just going to say FQ is parallel to BE. Or if you like, you can just say BS, right? Another reason that they normally give, I'm going to write it in a different color here. They normally say line parallel. Oh, the hell? supposed to be a single R here. What kind of what kind of parallel is this? Parallel to one side. So this is one reason that you can give. So instead of saying FQ is parallel to BE, you can just say line parallel to one side, you know. And obviously you have to put it in brackets. Depending on what you prefer, you know, Okay, <clears throat> moving along. So, on the diagram, since I've already explained about the medians and whatnot, you know, uh, we can see that AF is equals to FB. Now, the reason to that I've, al I've already explained, uh, F is midpoint of AB. I've already explained you as to how it came about. You know, I don't have to put it down here. Okay. So now, um, now that we know this information, <clears throat> we can put it on this statement, on the first statement here. So AQ over QE but then now, instead of saying AF over FB, 
we can simply say AF over AF. Why? Because, I mean, the two, they equal. Or if you like, you can say FB over FB, whichever you like, you know. Okay. And then uh, this is AQ over QE, which is equals to, now this is going to be 1. So, but then, you know, it has to be in, in form of ratios. So let me put it this way. This is 1 over 1. Why is it 1 over 1? Because how many times does AF goes to AF? It goes once. How many times does AF goes to AF? It goes once. Therefore, we left it 1 over 1 or simply just 1, whichever you prefer. Okay, now let's go back to the diagram and put this information so that we make sure that, you know, everything is on paper. We don't confuse ourselves here. Okay. Now this is going to be 1 and this is going to be 1. Okay, let me just write a normal one there. Yeah, so we have it in the diagram. Now we can proceed. But then on the diagram, because point E is a median, it divides AC in such a way that AE is equal to EC. It's a median, guys. It's at the mid, at the midpoint, at the middle of line AC. So it has to divide it in such a way that the two segments, which is AE and EC, are equal. So now, obviously, we have to put this information on paper. AE is equal to EC. Don't have to go around, you know, and waste time. So this we can say E median of AC. Okay. Now, without wasting any time, we can see that um, AE is equals to AQ plus QE. I mean, it's on the diagram, guys. I hope it makes sense to you. Therefore, therefore, uh, AQ is equals to one plus, and then um, QE is also equals to one. What's going on here? This is one. Phew. It's an ugly one. Okay. Now this whole thing becomes two. Now we can say therefore AE equals to EC, which is two. So we know that uh, EC is equals to two. So this guy is equal to 2. Okay. Now, but then what is, what is, um, so what are we trying to solve here? We're trying to solve AQ over, okay, by the way, sorry, let's go to the diagram and put this information. So this is equals to 2. Like I said, guys, the 2 are equal. They have to be equal. So therefore, 1 plus 1 is 2, and that one is 2. So the whole length is, is equal to 4. So AQ over AC is equal to 1 is 2, 2 plus 2, which is 1 is to 4. Now we cross multiply. AQ is equal to 1 over 4 multiplied by AC. This is our answer to this question. I hope this was very helpful. And if I skipped something or I applied the wrong theorem, you know, leave a comment. We'll attend to it. And then please subscribe, guys, and, you know, help the channel grow. Enjoy the rest of, the, uh, of, your, of your day, your books, you know, your year and everything. You know, good luck with everything. Goodbye.